Yeah. Well, I think Mad Jack's going to try and sneak forward, so it might be trying to confuse the D, see if they're organised or not. Pollock, he got the reprieve after one match on the sidelines. Came in to get a lot. Oh, here's a chance for Dor. Not too many better present themselves than that. We'll need a team of high scoring off turnover, which is a little bit unusual. Maybe explains why they're not at the top end of the ladder. Leader. Free kick goes to Larky against Tomlinson. Oh, that might be 50. What a pulsating game that was, though. One of the games of the season. North Melbourne have made the strong start here on the scoreboard. Larky makes no mistake. Great sign. Was he, when he came onto the scene a couple of years ago, he really looked like he could be something for the Ds. High ball to Wiedemann. He got a piece of it. So did Magic Dormani. Got the hands free. Was that a handball? Play on the call. Pickett pouncing and kicks <laughs> a goal. Somehow. But he was able to adjust really well off to Rivers. And then Harms, too, had to go back on his initial decision. Oh, that's vicious. Zerha only knows one way. I'll have a look at that one. You don't see many tackles stick like that and flip them upside down. That was a beauty. A little bit of a scratch on the chin. It's the setup kick. Top of the square. And Larky's got it, too. Slaps it forward, Zerha and Hibbard, and Lever knows when to leave his man. Gets it forward on the bounce. Melksham turning to Jones, put him on a path to goal. Nathan Jones, high and long, Wiedemann. Paul Tarrant, Simkin. Oh, he took on Petrarca at his own peril. And he is just charge ahead, Petrarca. Spargo to the square again. Tackled even in better fashion by McMillan, and it's back with the Kangaroos, although not for long as Rivers recklessly flew through the air and takes a terrific round. McDonald, Spargo screaming for it. He wanted it a bit further out in front. It slowed them down, but it didn't stop them reaching Wiedemann. They had to find a way to stonewall for however long is needed and then work the ball forward. Anderson with the early ups. Well, we just can't get inside their forward 50 to get some, re some relief. Jones went searching for the right option. Was it Brayshaw? It most certainly was! Well, forward half, but they've had their hands on the football 40 odd more times. Now that Kangaroos will get an opportunity. Magic gives it plenty. It's two on one in North's favour. So it was tough for Maeve. He didn't take it cleanly. Walker just had to get it to Larky. And he kicks his third goal. Almost found Pickett, Wiedemann to Jones. Initial fumble, didn't completely recover. Langdon with 15 seconds to go. Wiedemann's got there again! Cheesy plays with energy, that out. Yeah, gets a second go to two. Hannon tries to stretch out, took on Bonner. Bonner has gone going down into the rooms. Looks like he's carrying... His left arm there, I don't know if it's ribs or shoulder or what it is, but he's in a lot of pain, you can see there. Let's have a look. Oh. And that's an excellent kick from May, because it gives Oliver a, a run and a drive. Pick it, Durden bearing down. No free kick. The handball was up for Oliver. Well, have a look at this, Pope. I've seen him give one little tap away between the legs. On that occasion, it was just great control of the body. Hosting up well and finds Pollock at centre half for an opportunity for Bailey Scott. A massive opportunity to stream into goal and he changed it up with a little lead back to the footy from Larky. Off balance. Let's see if they've made the right choice. Zerha, a wobbly one. I think he was trying to pass rather than shoot. But... And now the Demons have got numbers. Even despite the fumble from Langdon, Melchin. This is the bloke who's on fire right now. Yeah, Pickett goes short into the pocket and he finds Bailey Fritch. We haven't seen a lot of tonight. Had a few issues earlier in the season, but getting better as it goes. 12 goals, 10 for the year. That one is on target. The others have failed. Fritch hits the target. Hall. The North Forge do get a look with even numbers. Walker is pretty good in that situation. Crowded out. Marnie in the right spot. Hall's left boot is on target for Larky, who gets the free kick, he wore one, he was vulnerable. Margin trimmed to 10 points, Goldstein all over Jackson that time. 
Jamont tried to find Hall, but instead it was Petrarca. Oliver tucked it under the arm. And now it's Petrarca on the full storm. The full long bomb right to the edge. Was it a push? Oh, it's not. It's a goal. As Brescia floats the handball, they look to really take the advantage. And Walker in pain, so they're a man down. Are they about to go another goal down? The Demons control possession almost all the way. Spargo has played on and has kicked the goal. Well, it couldn't look worse for the Kangaroos. Goal against and uh, Walker coming from the ground. Looks like he's got a uh, problem with his head and also a corky to the thigh. But I just wanted to Have you got a clear answer? Here we go, to half forward. Fritz couldn't get access that time. No, oh, he did. He got a free kick. There you go. Into the pocket. Petrarca stayed up. He's spinning. He's got him dizzy at the moment. They get closer and had him kick the goal and then run into the post. Back to the square again. McDonald in the push and shove. Pick it at the front. And Fritz finally <laughs> finds the middle. So they'll be happy with their trip to the, uh, South Australia. Langdon comes off hands again. Petrarca mowed down by Daw. No whistle. That guy saying he got a boot clear to it. And it's fallen into the right hands. And Sparrow kicks a goal for the Dees. Tomlinson deep to full forward again. Oh, pick it at the back. Wiedemann came through from the side. Neither of them are able to get the right connection. Oliver had a quick work out the angle and needed to put the ball to boot and he delivers Melbourne's sixth goal of the quarter.